Okay, I'm back again, yippity doo -da, with math pages 445 and 446. So you are probably ready to go, right? Right. All right, so it says multiply in any order. We've talked about that, just like four plus uh, three is seven. So three plus four is seven, right? Multiplication works the same way. If you have two groups of three, two groups of three, you have six. What if you have three groups of two? Three groups of two. Two, four, six. So multiplication works the same way that addition does, okay? So they give you the example in the top. Multiply numbers in any order. The product, there's the name of the answer to a uh, multiplication problem, is factor times factor equals product. Okay, in addition, it's add end plus add end equals sum, right? So that's addition and that would be for multiplication. All right, so it says if you have two rows of six, you have two times six is 12. If you have six rows with two, you have six times two equals 12. And it goes on further with the eggs and all that to explain it. So for number one, it says write how many, write the multiplication sentence. You have three rows, remember? I'll remind you. Rows are going across. Here you have three rows, okay? That's going across. The of is what's going down. Okay, the of is going down. Okay, so it says three rows of four. So what would your multiplication sentence be for number one? It would be three rows times four in each row equals three times four. So count by threes. Excuse me, count by fours. So if you have Three rows, four, you're counting by fours. Four, eight, twelve. That would equal twelve, right? Then they flipped it. They said, let's make four rows, okay? So you've got one, two, three, four, because rows are going across. O is going this way, right? That's the O. So they said, oh, okay, let's make that four rows of is what they have for you, right? They have, they don't have any of this. None of that is showing. They have four rows, one, two, three, four of, one, two, three. Four rows of three. So this time you're writing four times three. We can count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, you're going to get the same either way, right? Either way you get the same. Okay, go down to number two, where you have, how many rows do you have? So look at the purple. So to start with, how many rows do you have? One, two, three, four, five. So you wanna write, five rows 
and how many are colored yet? One, two, three. Right? They're all shaded. So you have five rows of three. Five rows of three. So your multiplication would be five times you have three. So you want to count by threes? Let's do it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Wheels go round and round. Five times three is fifteen. This time they did it in reverse. They did one, two, three rows of three rows of one, two, three, four, five. So they did three rows of five. And that would be this in reverse, three times five. Five, 10, 15. Still equals 15. Goes both directions, okay? I think you probably have a good handle on that. Let's take a look at the next page, all right? I'm not going to write any of this, but let's talk about it, and you could write as we're talking. All right, it says write how many, and then write the multiplication sentence. So first part, they did for you, number one. They said you've got two rows of three, okay? So what would that be? Two times, you have a three, equals Six, right. Now flip that over. This time they have three rows of two, which would be three times, you have a two, equals the same as two times three, six, okay? Number two, how many rows do you see going across? Four, don't you? How many are in each row? Five. So you have four rows of five, which makes four times five equals, well, count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, next one you've got one, two, three, four, five rows. So you wanna write five rows with one, two, three, four going across. Let's count by fours, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, you get the same answer. Five rows times four equals 20. Five times four, okay? So for the last part, it says, how many different arrays can you make with six squares? Okay, different. All right, so I'm gonna make this microscopic. How about, you notice they have what? One, two, three, four, five, six squares. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, the six going across, and they've got one, two, three, they have the same going down. One, two, three, four, Not very pretty, but you get the idea. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six. Anyone know what six times six is? Go figure that out and you'll have that answer. So, how many can you make for six? Well, can you do two, four, six? Can you do that? Yeah. You can do two rows of three. Then on the next one, not the same one, the next one, can you do three rows of two? Two, four, six. You can do that on the second one. Then you're saying, ah, what else? Remember, you can't start in the center. You have to start on the side. How about, for the next one, can't you do 
six rows of one. What are six ones? Six. You could do six rows with only one. How about if you do the opposite of six times one and do one times six, one row of six. So there's four possibilities right there, right? So go ahead and finish up what you haven't finished with that. And we will see you next for language, okay? We're gonna be working in our activity book, but you're gonna to wanna to have your uh, reader along with it, okay? All right, see you later, bye-bye.